had an interesting question the other day, and that is how does one show an entire link in one color? That came from an MEP engineer that would uh, want to just very quickly see everything else that is not in his model in one specific color. So it is in a worksheet environment, and I had to look at work, sh uh, work sets, whether one could achieve what one wants through that. Um, one doesn't really have access to the embedded work sets within linked central files to override that within visibility graphics. And um, so at most what one can do is uh, use the visibility the visibility graphics overrides to show as many and as much as what one can um, in, a sp in a specific color. So I'd like to demonstrate that um, looking at the view that I've got open at the moment if I open visibility graphics overrides you'll see over here that we've got the Revit links showing up over there. In this case we're looking at the um, structural file which you can see over here and currently it's set by host view. Now, another little trick, neat little trick that I've learned is that uh, if you switch on this tool over here, the temporary view properties, uh, that would allow me to show you uh, what I need with visibility graphics and then get rid of that effect afterwards if needs be. So let's just redo this. This is, I've switched on the temporary view properties, visibility graphics overrides. We go to the Revit links. There is the structural model. I go to the um, uh, basics and I say well I want to be able to show this customly there's my model categories I change them to custom as well now what you'll see is within the embedded categories over here if I expand all within some of these embedded categories not everything has been selected and so to make sure I select everything I say first of all expand all and then all and then everything is selected and I check one of the boxes that haven't been selected that's part number one. Part number two is now that everything is selected, wherever you can see one of these boxes that you can change, that is where we will override the color with, say, for argument's sake, red, it's nice and visible. And we do the same thing with the others as well. Obviously, the transparency is not going to be applicable. We don't need to set that today. Um, there's my lines, which I can override with red. And so we go through all of these and we set them as we'd like them. Uh, the transparency, there's the patterns. Can we do those in red? So now pretty much everything is overridden with red, and I'll go and I say, um, okay, and then also under annotation categories, I also want to set these to custom. I'm specifically interested in my grid lines, they are switched on at the moment, and I'm also going to expand all, select all, and override these lines with a red color. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you that the grids don't accept that override. Right. One is not able to change guide grids, grids, levels, pipe colorfuls and pipe colorful legends, reference lines and planes, and so onwards. Why has not everything been selected? There you go. Okay. And okay. And there you can see everything that can show up within red is showing up in red. Just to look at the uh, grid lines within my native model, I'm going to switch off the grids so that I can see the grids from the structural model. And there you can see, oops, they are still showing up in black. So, as far as I know, this is the only way in which you can do this. Uh, if you would like to see this effect across multiple views, then of course you would have to include the visibility graphics overrides in a view template. Remember, if you need any help with this kind of thing, um, please contact us here at Micrographics and we can uh, help you to achieve the effect that you need within your views. Until next time, enjoy Revit!